Hello everyone, welcome back to another Fox Tech tutorial. This time, as you can see, my iPhone is too close. This is the first example of iPhone being too close, as people may mean that, or I'm gonna talk about a different example later on in the video. So let's begin with this one. Now, when this happens, when you are zoomed in like this and you don't know what to do, the fix is very simple. All you have to do is to use three fingers and a double tap with each of the three fingers at the same time like this. You can see this is going to zoom out of this stage and you're gonna end up seeing a normal iPhone home screen. However, if you don't know why it happened, it happened because you have the zoom feature enabled. And you can always just disable it if you want in the accessibility section, you can turn off zoom and now it's not gonna happen that you're gonna be in this zoomed in or too close space or area, whatever you wanna call it, but it's just not gonna repeat ever again in the future. So that's awesome to know, right? And also the second option is that your appearance is a bit different. So you may choose if the display zoom is default or a larger text. So in the settings, you have to go to the display and brightness section. And chances are, if you believe that your iPhone is too close, you may be set to larger text, which as you can see, makes everything look bigger. It makes it appear as if everything is larger and like closer to you. So in case you wanna switch from that, all you have to do is switch from, uh, from a larger text to default. You can see right now I'm switching the other way around just to demonstrate the point and show you the example how it works, but just switch back and forth, you can see right now it is kind of zoomed in. I don't like this view at all, but yeah, you can do it differently. So just come back, set it to default, use standard, and that's how it works. So these were the two scenarios on why or how the iPhone can be zoomed in for whatever reason. So in case you liked the video, make sure to hit the thumbs up and also subscribe so you don't miss future videos like this one, future tutorials in which I explain many different topics. I think you're gonna find it very helpful if you subscribe, so go ahead and do that. We can see each other in the future. Peace out until then, see you later.